Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a collective reading. We're going to look at the recent past, the present, and the near future energy with the person you are thinking about. Keep in mind, it is a general collective. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, in the recent past, we have outcome, results, conclusion, endings, you will get resolution and destruction. Tower moment, unexpected change, and new opportunity. So something really happened in the connection in the recent past that maybe destroyed the foundation. Things had been uh, maybe stuck for quite a long time, but something unexpectedly changed the dynamic of the situation. And maybe the two of you broke up or you took a break from each other. Let's see what the energy is in the current moment. What is the energy for the collective's person in the current moment unawakened sacred journey and karmic so in the current moment your person is really not ready for this connection this is a situation where it could be a twin flame union where this runner chaser dynamic actually has occurred where your person wasn't ready to embrace this connection they weren't ready to be in union and in the current energy they're realizing that they're discovering what you truly are and who you were in their life and it's something that they actually destroyed this connection maybe is bringing this person into the darkness of recognizing that their ego had really blocked them from seeing the generosity of the connection that was in front of them in the recent past. Now in this present moment, they're really trying to figure out what is their duty at this point? Do they want to try to make amends? Do they want to be finally awoken to what they had not seen in the past. Now we do see offer being hidden at the bottom of the deck. So your person is potentially thinking about reconciliation in the present moment. So let's see what their near future energy is gonna be. What is the energy for the collective's person in the near future? We've got creativity and mirroring. Okay, so you both are actually going to be feeling the same energy shift here in the near future. Something about both of you going within and recognizing that this was like a connection that was supposed to be really great, it just did not because you were not in alignment. You were not vibrating at the same level. And you both in the near future are feeling inspired. You're gonna be mirroring each other that you're gonna see that this was your twin flame. This was a connection that was supposed to come into union. Look at this, hidden at the bottom of the deck, we do have potential. So there's something about potentially the two of you mirroring each other of wanting reconciliation. There is this self-reflection that you're both gonna go through, but you're also gonna feel inspired to potentially want to come together, maybe want to reconcile or come into union. So let's do some clarifying. Why is outcome and destruction here in the recent past? For your person's energy, they ended things, there was something unexpected. Why did they do that? Okay, we've got the judgment coming out and the nine of pentacles. Your person had this moment of feeling like they just wanted to be single. There was something about maybe their finances were more important, their job, maybe they were traveling more. They weren't ready to be in union. And this person felt like in the recent past, they had this inner calling of, I need to be alone. I don't want to be in a relationship. I'm not ready to be exclusive with somebody. I'm not ready to be in union. Three through three on the clock, you could be seeing a lot of threes when it comes to this situation. So now in the current energy, your person is understanding now what they didn't understand back then about this connection, that this is a connection that has awakened your person into understanding their ego and pride, maybe with the monetary realm of material wealth was taking more of a priority over the precedent of the two of you being in union. And they're being awoken to that in this current energy. They weren't ready in the past to embrace what the soul tide was or this twin flame union. And now they're thinking long and hard that they might have missed out on this because you were something special to them. You were something that was more um, of value than just any relationship. It was different. So let's clarify unawakened sacred journey and karmic partner. This person is feeling bound to society in the current energy. So why is this unawakened? Maybe your person didn't even know what twin flame unions were. So we've got page of cups and ace of cups. Yeah, you know, your person's intuition in the present energy is making them more and more curious about their spirituality, about understanding 
toxic connections, spiritual connections, connections that are lessons, connections that are love. And they're really maybe doing a lot of research trying to understand the journey that they were on in the recent past. They're discovering more about who they are today without you versus who they could have been with you in that past. And your person is doing a lot of investigating. They're unpacking what's in their soul, what's in their heart. And now they're feeling overwhelmed because now they realize that this is so much more and it's very overwhelming. It's like your person's went through this dark night of the soul and they're finally facing these fears and insecurities that they're having when it comes to this connection. So now in the near future, we've got creativity and mirroring. So let's clarify, why is creativity and mirroring? Your person is realizing that this could actually be an everlasting love that they were supposed to have and they might have messed it all up. Now they're doing a lot of self-reflection. Yeah, seven of swords and two of wands. Your person is really in an energy in the near future that they realize they ran away from the connection. It spooked them, it freaked them out, but now they're trying to make a decision, how do they return? How do they go back to that place of home, which is truly in that twin flame journey? We do have 10 of cups hidden at the bottom of the deck. This person is finally realizing that their ultimate happiness, their ultimate fulfillment is with you and you are going to be in the same energy you're going to feel inspired to want to try to come back together you're going to want to have reconciliation so let's see what is the likely outcome here for the collective and their person in the near future what is the likely outcome we've got the seven of pentacles the eight of pentacles and the four of wands. This is beautiful. Yes, there is this long-term vision you both are gonna have. You're gonna be able to really put in the effort. There's gonna be a lot of self-reflection that's gonna happen, but because the, you both are gonna be mirroring each other in the near future, there is gonna be this work that you're both gonna put in. You're both gonna really roll up your sleeves and do the necessary work to come back into union. And this is ultimately what you want. You want to come into union with your twin flame, your soulmate, you wanna reunite, you want to reestablish the foundation and create that stability and trust that you both have. There is something about both of you are being shooken to this connection being in separation and divide. And in the near future, you're both going to want to come back together. You're going to work on it to be in union. So let's get you a channeled song. Can't Get You Out of My Head by Kylie Minaj. And let's get a positive card of affirmation. Today I am capable. Today I will accomplish every goal that I set for myself. Okay, collective, that is what I have for you. I do want to thank you for watching this video. If you do want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Have a great day. Bye.